Jackson and Wooden Manufacturing Company, also called Jackson and Wooden Car Works, was an American railroad freight car manufacturing company of the late 19th century headquartered in Berwick, Pennsylvania. In 1899, Jackson and Wooden was merged with 12 other freight car manufacturing companies to form American Car and Foundry Company. Jackson and Wooden's management were proponents of the temperance movement in America, and went as far as buying all the saloons and hotels in Berwick, leading to Berwick becoming a dry town by 1881. By the time of the 1899 merger that created American Car and Foundry Company ACF, Jackson and Wooden was the largest freight car manufacturer in the eastern United States. The Jackson and Wooden shops became ACF's Berwick plant, a plant that was heavily used by ACF. Topic history Jackson and Wooden was founded in 1840 by Mordecai W. Jackson and George Mack as a farm implement manufacturing company. Jackson bought Mack's interest in the company in 1843, and partnered with Robert McCurdy, whose interest Jackson bought later in 1846. William Hartman Wooden partnered with Jackson in 1849. The company turned to construction of mine cars by the late 1860s. The Jackson and Wooden shops were destroyed by fire on March 17, 1865. The company rebuilt with a larger facility in the same location, increasing the size of its workforce from 150 to 250. After Mordecai Jackson and William Wooden retired from the company, Jackson and Wooden increased incorporated on March 1, 1872 with Clement R. Wooden sometimes written as Clemuel Wooden, William Wooden's son appointed as president, Clarence G. Jackson Mordecai Jackson's son as vice president and Garrick Mallory as treasurer. The company's partners, Mordecai Jackson and William Wooden, were appointed to the executive committee. C. R. Wooden helped the company grow throughout his time in its top position. An 1879 advertisement for Jackson and Wooden declared that the company was producing 150 railroad car wheels per day. Also in 1879, Jackson and Wooden helped with the establishment of the local YMCA chapter, donating the entire third floor of the company's main building including rent, heat and light as meeting space. When the Young Men's Christian Association of Berwick was incorporated in 1883, the majority of the organization's trustees were current executives of Jackson and Wooden, c. R. Wooden stepped down from the company presidency in 1894 due to poor health. Clement Wooden's son, William Hartman Wooden, who would later make a name for himself as the Secretary of the Treasury under Franklin D. Roosevelt, served as General Superintendent of Jackson and Wooden, and was promoted to President of the firm in 1895. In 1899, Jackson and Wooden was one of 13 car manufacturers that were merged to create American Car and Foundry Company. CF. By the time of the merger, Jackson and Wooden was the largest freight car manufacturer in the eastern United States, with total assets of $60 million. The Jackson and Wooden shops became ACF's Berwick plant, a plant that was heavily used by ACF. ACF produced the first all-steel passenger car at the Berwick plant in 1904, it was the first car produced as part of an order for 300 cars from the Interborough Rapid Transit Company in New York City. 
ACF's Berwick plant remained open for passenger car assembly until January 1961, when the last NYCTIRTR-28s were delivered. <laughs> 